Hello, today we're going to talk about CUNY Blackboard. To begin with, we're going to discuss the login credentials. It's normally your first name, dot your last name, and the last two digits of your EMPL ID at login.cuny.edu. If you forget what that is, you can always check at forget username, forget password. If this is your first time logging into Blackboard, you can also click new user and they'll give you all the credentials that you're going to need. Under my courses, this will include syllabus and announcements from the professors or any reminders uh, for the class that you're taking. So right now, due to COVID-19, a lot of the classes had to be online or done remotely. So a lot of the professors use Blackboard Collaborative Ultra. In order to get to Blackboard Ultra, you can go to Tools, then um, you'll get a bunch of different tools in there, and with that, you'll be able to see Blackboard Collaborative Ultra. Um, you'll be able to virtually log into the classes and go into them and see your professor. Uh, many professors also do their office hours this way. All right, to get into Blackboard, you have to log into cuny.edu. Then under login, you're gonna see Blackboard. You're gonna sign in here with your CUNY First credentials. Once you log into the page, this is what you would normally see on a CUNY, on a CUNY Blackboard page. The beginning would be your courses over here, tools, you can get your online books here and purchase them for your classes. You can go to the online bookstore to find all your books that the professor will want for their specific class. I would suggest to wait until the beginning of the semester because some professors either do not require the book or um, want you to buy a different book. So wait until the first day of class to get these online books. Under my courses is where the information for your classes will be. Depending on the term, there'll be a tab for that specific semester. You can click on it. Some professors choose to use Blackboard as one of their main tools. Other professors don't, and they'll just connect with you through email or through different sources. Um, here's an example of what the classes will look like. Uh, the ones in blue are the classes that are using Blackboard, and the other ones are the classes that are not currently available for Blackboard, just due to the professor's personal use. We are going to click on these, one of these just for an example. Once you click on the class, you'll be able to see various sources. Um, under this main toolbar, you'll be able to see um, content with under tools, you can also check for your grade, um, any other information that the professor is using. Because of the coronavirus, we used a lot of Blackboard uh, Collaborative Ultra. Some professors also choose my grades and then we'll post your grades for specific assignments. And under content, other professors will also put in um, their information, they'll also put in the syllabus or any other additional information that they would want you to find out. You want to make sure your email is updated so you can get all of these messages um, from your professors. Under to-do list, you'll also get um, incoming assignments and deadlines. Make sure you keep an eye on these because the professor will post this and you'll get a notification through your email. Um, it will give you deadlines. Blackboard is really strict with deadlines, so if the professor tells you Thursday at 11.59, there will be no exceptions on submitting through Blackboard. If you do want to submit, you may be able to um, tell your professor, but Blackboard is a pretty strict system with deadlines. You can also find out which email is linked to your Blackboard. It's normally your city mail, but up here on the upper right hand corner, you can select settings and then you can select personal information to find out what exact what email is uh, linked to your Blackboard. Thank you for watching.